I think there's some analogies between homosexuality and Judaism. Uh, they, it seems like they are both sometimes hideable. So one can pass as not Jewish or not queer. And I feel like when I came out 30 years ago, um, well actually this is an interesting story. And when I asked my mother, why did you not tell me this information or why have you told me now? The only thing she could say was, do you remember Gentleman's Agreement? And I knew she meant the Gregory Peck movie where he is a journalist and he assumes the identity of a Jew and he just tells everyone he's Jewish so that he can uncover the insidious anti-Semitism which is pervasive after World War II in America. And so that was all she needed to say. I understood that. But what I had forgotten and what I think she forgot was that when I came out to her as a gay man in the early 70s, I gave her a Laura Hobson novel called Consenting Adult about a mother trying to come to terms with her son's new identity as a gay man. So here we are coming out to one another over three decades and we're both using Laura Hobson and books and movies to do that. So it seemed to me to articulate the some connection between Jewish identity and queer identity.